Hey, what's happening guys? My name is John, the PM for Workbot, and I am stoked to share with you guys that we finally released Blockkit for Workbot, a new kit on the block, if you will. Anyway, that jokes aside, I'm sure most of you have used or at least heard of Slack's Blockkit since they released it earlier this year. But for those of you who are wondering what Blockkit is, Blockkit is this amazing UI framework that Slack built, which allows you a lot more control and flexibility over the layout and different elements when you build messages for Slack. With Slack's block kit builder, you can design how your messages would look like by experimenting with different blocks and seeing how they come together visually. So how does block kit work in Wakado? If you're familiar with the post message and post command reply actions, a new block section has been baked into them. We support 11 different types of blocks, which is basically everything there is. And just like the block kit builder, you can stack blocks, rearrange them, and customize each block as you see fit. So, why should you use Blockkit on Wakado? Well, for three reasons. Richer messages, ease of use, and prototyping. With Blockkit, you now have control over the order and position of buttons, select menus, and basically all your interactive elements. If you look at these two messages, the one on the right was just not possible before BlockKit. Overflow menus and date pickers are just some of the new components that you can now use in your messages. You can rearrange blocks, or even block elements like menu options and select menu options simply by dragging and dropping. The underrated divider block. It's a simple yet awesome new addition that allows you to split up your message into neat sections. You can still continue to use the existing message attachment fields together with your blocks but they're now a legacy feature and come with a few caveats. I'll link this Slack article in the video description so you can read up on it. Next up, ease of use. Blockkit has really improved the user experience when constructing messages for Workbot on Wakado. With all the bells and whistles that we support, it was getting really hard for users to visualize how their bot messages actually looked like from the recipe. Now, you can just add the blocks that you want, stack them, and rearrange them as you see fit. And if you want to preview the message, you can click on the preview link. Which brings me to my last point, prototyping. While you're constructing your message in the recipe, clicking on the preview link, will automatically bring you to the Slack Block Kit Builder where you can see how it's shaping up. How awesome is that? Well, that's it for me this time. Keep a lookout for my next video. I'll be taking you guys through a use case where I make full use of Block Kit on Workbot. See you guys next time.